Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome to Conan Exiles. So I got early access to this bad boy. This game is going to be released tomorrow. So in one day, Head Bashing Simulator. <laughs> hey Sheng, glad you could join. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Now I honestly haven't played it that much. Maybe only 30 minutes just to check out the volume, how it plays, if my system can handle it, but... I know next to nothing about it, so let's go and explore it at the same time, right? Now, I did check the servers, but it looks like there is nothing which has decent ping from where I'm from. And it looks like um, those which have acceptable ping don't have any players in them. If you look at it, the first 10 or so servers, zero players. There's CaledoniaRP.com based in Europe, but... I don't know, I don't know those people. So let's just play single player co-op and let's see what, how this goes. Actually, single player is how it goes. Now I do have already that session, but let's recreate it so I can show you everything. Now this will also be appearing in YouTube, so no worries if you aren't able to join now because this is an ad hoc stream after all. Clumsy Solo. Clumsy the Barbarian. <laughs> Doesn't quite fit, does it? So let's go and set it up. I did increase the XP rate multiplier times 3 for everything. It's basically, since I'm playing solo, I won't have the luxury of having some teammates with me. So might as well increase the XP to compensate. Yeah, Everything else is normal except for the XP rate. Wow, some epic music happening there. And do let me know if uh, it gets too loud. Hopefully it doesn't. Now, I did also increase the, there we go, the harvesting multiplier times 3 as well. But everything else is default, right? So let's host it. You might get some frame issues as we load the game, but that should settle down once we finish loading. And I will be using an Xbox 360 controller for this one in the meantime, because uh, it's early access, so there are some bugs. Hey Zog, thanks for joining, <laughs> and I see you're on beam. Glad you could drop by. Hey John, long time no see. Thanks for joining. Volume is good. Awesome. The game isn't G27 compatible, I know right? What were they thinking? So here's the first thing. Um, earlier you could pick male or female and actually this name has nudity. But you can turn it off. Depending on the server, you can have like a server which is clean, family friendly. So they have things like cloth like that, but you can also go full nude. I'm not sure what level full nude is, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, someone posted the link. Brick Army. You wanted to drive the stone wagon. Maybe we'll have a chance later on. <laughs> right, so... Yeah, there is an option for full nudity, but for the sake of being a family-friendly channel and all that, I, I, I decided not to do with that. So this will ha not have any nudity in there, right? I set the setting off. Hopefully, I set it the right way. I'm streaming on both Twitch and Beam. Yes, that's right, Brick Army. So you can go and check out twitch.tv slash theclumsygeek or beam.pro slash theclumsygeek. I've heard the delay, the chat delay is less in Beam. So if you have an account there, go and check it out. But either way, it's fine with me. Should have the, more or less the same quality. Alright, so after picking male or female, you have the option of choosing a race. Now there's a bit of lore here, so you're, you're, if you're into the story and everything, this is wonderful. But I think, functionally speaking, this is just for appearance. At least for now. Now do take note, this is an early access game, so... There will not be a lot of... Uh, there will still be a lot of missing features, but eventually they will implement that, right? Just pick this one, and then you can pick a religion. Now, in this game, religion plays a huge role. You can make altars and everything, and you can, I think, summon the gods? I don't, I don't know the details, but that's what I saw. Uh, let's see. I have a couple of gods here. Three still pending. Probably they'll make those in the future. Mitra is god of right and justice. Cannibals, Serpents in Sacrifice, and God who requires no worship. So this is basically the Agnostics, I think. Noble John, thank you for following. Appreciate it. 
God of Right and Justice. There we go. Let's pick that one. Death is coming. Oh, cut me down, please. Death is coming. Cut me down, please. Wow. The gods Smooth. are watching. Hey! <laughs> cut me down. Hey! <laughs> Male six is just like, Way! all the time, no words. Death again. is coming. Hey! <laughs> the gods are watching. Hey! Death. Oh! The god. Oh! <laughs> Male 6 sounds like a good choice. <laughs> Perfect barbarian voice. Regard me, yeah. Um, yeah, j just literally starting the game out. I played a while ago, around 10 minutes. Or, I don't know, 20 minutes. Just to see how the game went. I died and I stopped. <laughs> so now let's go and die together. <laughs> At least. Male 6 for sure. Yeah, let's pick that. Oh, this is a pro, full looking Asian dude. With eyeliners, eyeshadows, and everything. <laughs> Ah, that looks Japanese. Looks like a samurai, actually. Less barbarian, more samurai. Let's pick that guy. Can go and pick the color tone. A bit fleshy like that. Hair, I don't like that hair. I'm not digging it. That looks cool. I want a long-haired dude. Hmm. Bad hair day. I think this one is perfect with the wind effect and everything. Ah. White wolf. Nah, let's just have it black. Eyebrows. Uh, who was that in Sesame Street? Ernie, I think. Or was it Bert? I think it was Bert. <laughs> the unibrow dude. Like that. I think we can pick something a, less, a little bit less. No eyebrows. Oh, that looks like Dragon Ball. Nah. Let's go with that. A little bit more subtle. Facial hair. I'm not sure why facial hair isn't there. Maybe for my race or I'm not sure maybe it's not implemented yet. We'll see. Okay. Eyeshadow. Oh, there we go. So we can get, removed, get rid of that completely. There. For a more nude look. Now you can go and change this as much as you want. It's very customizable, although honestly I'm not really keen on that. I'm not really particular with it. You hardly get to see your face anyway. So I would say let's just skip everything and jump right to the action. Yeah, but just if you're into that kind of thing, you have the option of changing that. Ooh, maybe except for the eyes. Bert had the unibro. <laughs> there we go. You can go and check it out. Yeah, physique. The heights there, let's pick that one. In physique, you can see breast size and endowment. That's specifically there for those teenagers with raging hormones, I think. So, <laughs> a lot of people will for sure turn on the, the nudity to full. And then the breast size probably the maximum and endowment, you know. And just start walking and jogging around the server. Have female characters and everything. I bet 80% of the characters in all the servers are female with that kind of setting in there. <laughs> But for us, we're not really interested in that, <laughs> I guess. So we'll skip that and we will try to go straight to the game. But just so, just take note, if you're interested in that kind of thing, it is available to you. But just to remind everyone again, this is a mature game. 18 plus, I think, is the official rating because of the violence, nudity, and everything. And also in this channel, family friendly, no nudity. So, oh, too bad. <laughs> the Luna, thank you for the following. You seem to have more pressing issues than how you look at the moment. <laughs> oh, there we go. That affects it as well. Even for guys, that's <laughs> that works. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right. Well, we can have like a man chest. Endowment is probably at the bottom, isn't it? <laughs> Let's have something more realistic. Maybe something like that. We don't see this. Probably behind the scenes, huh? Okay. <laughs> Let's pick that. Clumsy. Man moves for the win. <laughs> this game. The Hyrcanian Turanian. Uh, hmm? 
Exile, death and exile for crimes, for freeing slaves, bandity, and slave taking without a permit. Wow. And he will remove this body. Living or dead from the cross will be flayed alive along with all the members of their family. Yes. Freaky eyes. There was also an intro I forgot to show you guys. I'm not sure how to display it again, but it was kind of cool. A little bit of action. Just to keep the blood pumping and stuff. Here's the Cobra. Oh, I forgot to read it to you guys. Hopefully you were able to catch that. So the story is basically you're currently hanging on a cross for some reason, for some untold reason, and that guy in front <laughs> feed you. There should have been subtitles. I turned it on, but some only some of the dialogue works currently. I think they haven't really patched that up yet. So let's see. Let's go and check how this stuff works. Alright, right off the bat, we are in the middle of the desert. Third person, first person available. Let me know if you prefer something. I will probably go to... Mix it up a bit. Vanity shot. We can go third person to take some screenshots when you have cool armor in. Or in case of female characters when the teenagers <laughs> would like to have a bit of fun there. Alright. But for us, let's try and survive. Right. There's a lot of lore. Oh, I didn't see this the first time. Okay. I am beaten. Left to rot among the ruins of the past. There are others here. Slaves, bandits and cannibals, exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them try to scrape a life from the wasteland, scrabbling the rocks and sand for their own place. I cannot go on. The life that I left behind haunts me. The sun over the glittering spires of Belverus is forever denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair. I will pass the ghost fence. This cursed land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. Stranger, you have my pity. You do not know how cursed you truly are. Interesting. So yeah, this game, as from what I've heard, has a bit of lore in it. So it's more story driven. There are... Uh, certain things you can explore you can get involved with the storyline and not only focus on the gameplay so there is that there's these alien looking things okay press behold, behold bonded one the very boundaries of civilization beyond the passage of our highways by the wild places of the world where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. Interesting. Okay, so I didn't see that the first time. I died the first time I tried this. So basically, I didn't have any guide. Um, we can go to the inventory screen. Now, honestly, the inventory looks a bit uh, basic right now, but I'm sure they will improve this later on, the UI and everything. But so far, it looks to have most of the things we need. Yeah, so I've been collecting fiber and everything. The game awfully looks familiar with uh, something that rhymes with bark. We probably know what that game is. You probably play, played it before. But it takes a lot of inspiration from that, obviously. Even the crafting system and the, the materials in it. Commander Clumsy obviously has traveled through a black hole in Elite Dangerous. Yeah. Back to the Stone Age for us. <laughs> feed me, Anubis. Feed me. <laughs> Give me water. 
So even the skeletons have their bit of lore there. So you're, if you if you like reading books, you know the stories, this game definitely has a lot of that for you. Now, as I mentioned, if you weren't here in the beginning of the stream, I did jack up the rates a bit, XP times three, gather rate times three to compensate for the for playing solo, basically. Let's just get all the things we can from here and let's try to craft up something else. Wait a minute. Okay, the crafting takes a long time here, even just for clothes. Let's craft that. Let's craft a stone pick. What is this? A shrine of Mitra. Okay, and then we can level up. We have three unspent points. I have no idea how effective or what the use of each of these are. Grit is for stamina, strength is for damage in melee. Agility is ability to move when wearing different clothing types. Okay. Vitality, health pool, accuracy for ranged weapons, encumbrance, how much you can carry, and survival. Ability to live in harsh conditions. It's how you metabolize food. Okay. So if we try, maybe, I don't know. Maybe let's just learn the recipes first. Alright, the green ones I assume are some things that we have learned already. Yellow ones are things, so I'm talking, talking about the background here. Yellow ones are which we can uh, uh, learn already. The red ones have prerequisites that we have not yet fulfilled, I'm assuming. Or maybe I'm just assuming. So also some things light up when you click on them. I'm assuming that is like the next step for that probably yeah so prerequisite is that one so it's a pretty clear system very nice and uh, it's a bit different from bark <laughs> the game because um, you learn sets instead of just for example learning the hatchet you learn the actual craftsman skill and that unlocks multiple recipes for you so it's a bit different but more or less the concept stays the same yeah so let's maybe learn a fiber bedroll and let's learn as well the campfire thingy. We have one more. We can go and build or we can go and uh, equip ourselves with uh, stone sword and wooden shield. I think I like that one. Okay, good. So what can we build? We need uh, 10 twines for this. I think I need a lot of fiber. Okay, I have that. I can have this one, but I need more stone, all right? So basically, the guide said to follow the road, right? And I think we had got some water there. Sealed water skin. Durability 3. Can we just drink that? Maybe when we're thirsty already. Now, this game has a bit of a different mechanics. If you see on the upper left, uh, the, the icons are pretty straightforward. From left to right, that's health, stamina, thirst, hunger, XP, and encumbrance. So how heavy we're uh, carrying. Now we're still in the green zone. I, I like the UI. It's, it's very easy to understand. It might not be the most barbarian theme. Yeah, it's a bit uh, modern. But in terms of understanding what's written there, that it's perfect, I think. Okay. And there seems to be a monster of some sort in the distance. I'm not sure I want to go there. Right. It said go to the road. Hopefully this game doesn't allow you to randomly pee on people. <laughs> how, do we, how do we make a rhyming name for that one? Uh, <laughs> three words. Ending with car. Starting with my. Okay, I see it. There's a guy there. Like uh, a bat of some sort. Let's go and craft. Uh, oh, still missing stone. Okay. So we can probably go and harvest something. If I can probably hit this guy. Does that work? Not really. Equip a tool to harvest. Well, it's not harvesting this one. I might be using the wrong tool. Oh good, you can pick up stuff even if you're, uh, if you still, if you have a tool in your hand. Nice. 
with the different system from bark <laughs> yeah for sure they will not be able to avoid comparisons because there's really a lot of similarity but I think that's what they were aiming for from what I oh no oh okay he flew away good thing so let's see uh huh let's go and craft that yeah, they probably won't be able to get away with that. They will be compared more and more to Ark. Yeah, there I said it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because uh, the similarities are pretty obvious. They obviously got a lot of their inspiration from that game. But that's a good thing. Competition is always a good thing. So if they improved on stuff, then that's all well and good. Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire, or the bite of the axe. So this is like the tutorial, I guess. The tutorial road makes you read books, adds a bit of lore in it, but at the same time teaches you, gives you some hints. Okay, I think it's time to drink that uh, water skin. Now there is a cool mechanic in this game that if you drink water and you drink enough of it, you get to actually... What is that? How do I drink that? Left? bumper and X okay so if you get to fill your thirst or hunger to a certain level to full it becomes blue the icon up on the upper left becomes blue and that means it, it won't it's uh, it won't lower down it won't become lower anytime soon so it, it it's like a encourages encourages you to always fill up your thirst and hunger so it doesn't always go down there's a certain set of time where it you're actually not needing anything else. Ooh, cool. There we go, the oasis. I guess it's time to build some more stuff in here. Maybe arrows and stuff? Let's see. This one requires stone, yeah? This one requires uh, wood, but I guess we can go and craft a bed first. Make sure we have somewhere to respawn. We can go and increase our strength a bit. I don't know, I'm not sure which to increase. Let's see how we go first. We can learn the arrow. What is that? Stone club and stone mole. Interesting. And we can start building as well. Yeah, I think we'll need the arrows because we'll need to hunt pretty soon. So let's go and learn that first. Hide and twine, how do we get that? So we'll need a weapon first. And uh, first and foremost, let's plop down the bed. Maybe let's plop down the bed here in the middle of the the sun, uh, the trees. Although there seems to be some kind of dude there. I'm not sure if that will be aggro. I guess it might be. Getting a bit of frames in here now. Lots of objects. Is that aggressive? Hmm. Let's see. Which one has more damage? Health damage 19, health damage 19, basically the same. Let's go with the hatchet. Looks more like an axe. Let's see if this guy... Can you sneak in here? Not actually sure. Yep, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> I can't hit the guy. There we go. So I got some hide. I'm not sure if from that guy. Can we eat him? Okay, we're getting some hide there. And some flesh as well. Prob hopefully we don't need to eat that. Alright, let's plop down the bed here. Okay. 
What the heck is that? Looks humongous, actually. Okay, let's plop down the bed here. There we go. Hold and uh, interact, uh, dismantle, cancel. I guess that's our respawn point. How's the performance? Hard as rocks. Performance is good. It's not as smooth as I would have wanted, but there are a lot of objects in this place. So I guess considering that's actually pretty, doing pretty well and seeing that how this is the first release of the game. Definitely a little room for improvement, I, I think. They're headed in the right direction. There we go. All the stone. So let's go and... Uh, we need some twine, actually. How do we need? How many do we need here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And here we need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's also some instant crafting here. Craft all and craft ten. Very nice for the UI. Feral flesh. What the heck is that? We can consume it, but I'm not sure if it's uh, <laughs> advisable. Hmm. Let's go and level up encumbrance here. I'm a fan of uh, increasing the the weight limit. You're carrying enough that your stamina depletes slightly faster. So if we increase that, we go below the 50%. Perfect. Okay. So now we should have enough to craft a sword and a shield. Not really. How do we get wood? From these trees, most likely. What card do I have in the settings? I have a GTX 970 and I currently have settings at high. So there's an ultra, but I have it at high at the moment i think you can go ultra here but since i'm streaming and stuff so i need it to i need to tone it down a bit but if you're just playing on your own not streaming not recording i think you can go with ultra with the gtx 970 i like that crunchy sound craft that piece thank you Land claims for your base. I'm not really sure. I haven't actually done a base yet. We'll explore that for sure. But yeah, I just started the game a few minutes ago. So we can go and try killing that guy over there. I'm not sure where to get water though. Does anyone know? So you can do a wield here. You can actually have a have a shield equipped at all times and then i saw yeah i saw you should be able to equip one as well like instead of a shield you can equip a small dagger i think so let's see this guy oh there's a campfire there not sure if there are people in there not sure if that guy is aggressive he does look like it looks kind of mad Might not have been a good move. <laughs> Alright, so it seems like that guy is a bit uh, more powerful than I expected. It looks like a turtle, like a, a transformed turtle. And why didn't we transport the bed? I did build the bed. <laughs> I hope not, Sheng. I hope not. That would look like a completely different game if it was like that. Okay. So I'm assuming we have to stay away from those folks then. Those turtle-like things. Because they seem to be more powerful than I hoped. Oh, come on. That guy saw me? Okay. <laughs> Oh, there's also an evasion system in here. Ooh, water! Ow. Crap. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm not sure how to run if that guy will eventually leave me. If I can run in the water again. Does it look like it though? <laughs> okay. Oh crap. Why are they punching the water? And there's some guys in there which are probably aggressive. <laughs> this is turning out to be a disaster. Yeah, lots of camps in there. I can try and uh, cross this other side. Can they cross here? Okay, looks like some other angry guys in there. Hmm, doesn't look good for us. Okay, they're gone. Now, honestly, that looks a bit funky, those animations. <laughs> Look at that guy just floating in the distance. <laughs> Do you see him? <laughs> that looks like something from the movies where you make stuff out of clay. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. Let's see. So, I probably won't be able to get my stuff anymore because I have no clue where I am. So let's probably just make some new stuff then. Okay. One, two, how many do you need? Three. Okay, let's make three twines, whatever that is. Let's go and get some more fiber. And try to stay away from those camps in the meantime because it looks like everyone is aggressive. Stay away from those turtles. Actually, you know what? Let me try and play with the mouse and keyboard. I think it's, it feels a lot more different. I think it should be fine. Yeah. It feels much better. I'm gonna stick with this one. My main complaint is just it's not friendly for the lefties at the moment. So I'm a lefty. And I usually have my movement and my arrow keys, but for some reason up and down are not allowing me to move because I think up and down is reserved for chat, like that it, it appeared. So I have to use WASD, which is fine. If there's a group sy system to find your friends, I am not sure, I would assume not. You have probably have to meet manually well you can go in chat like there is a chat system and there's a range at how far away you can see each other's messages in here so probably that's one way but I don't know it would personally I think it would kind of ruin the experience the way they implemented something like that it would be easier yes but probably wouldn't feel the same if you can talk to them and see them on the map or something wouldn't be realistic ah okay there we go so you have to use it for a spawn point to be updated okay clear so after that we can go and uh, craft some things again uh, craft that lease we can go and craft all these stuff again i hope they implement double click There we go. How do you remove it from your queue? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's go and get some stone. You can count most South for friendly games on one hand. That's true. Yeah. It's like we don't even exist. Right. Let's go and level up. Increase our uh, strength, probably two points, and vitality two points, encumbrance one point, and uh, I don't know. Let's stick with that. And then let's start with the building. Let's build the house. Sandstone foundation. That sounds good. 
you can probably build the house somewhere here just beside the water so we have plenty of stuff to drink and by the way how do we drink stuff can i just okay pressing e here actually makes me drink something and if you look at the upper left icon the the the, the drop is actually blue now so that means for quite some time my thirst level won't go down i'm not sure if that means i can run all i want and that will still not go down but we'll see we can experiment on that this looks like an arc clone um actually that has some basis yeah a lot of the mechanics are very similar like i've played arc for quite some time i've been playing it for a couple of months i stopped though but yes the similarities are definitely there they, they for sure got a lot of their inspiration from that game hopefully they improved upon it as well okay we'll need a hatchet yes so now we have full armor that's good armor is nine poise what is poise resistance to being knocked back or down okay cool that's a fancy new uh, feature there can you not just ah okay okay there we go that sounds so crunchy yeah that actually feels strong so let's go and craft some twines hmm i won't have enough i need more fiber handful of insects you see that so instead of berries from arc they have these insects which are kind of yucky but we can go and eat that and increase our food i think yeah so our food definitely increased Now, I did see a stream from the developers where they basically did building and showed a bit of the game. So I have a slight idea how it works, but we will see how improved it is from uh, their inspiration from Mark. Yeah, most of the stuff for sure they got. Or look at that! It's actually a rabbit in here. Okay. How do we get that guy then? Can we maybe craft a bow? We need hide for that. And to get hide, we need to kill that rabbit. So maybe we'll need a sword. How many do we need? We have lots of... We need lots of twine. Yeah. We'll have another level here. Interesting. Okay. And recipes as well. So we can probably craft that now. Yeah. What the heck was that? <laughs> okay. Freaky sounds. There are no dino dinosaurs, that's for sure, but they definitely made up for some other interesting creatures in here. Now, this is based from the Conan universe which to be honest is something I'm not really familiar with but I think the religion the races the creatures are based out of that so there is some definite clear universe there it's not just made up okay let's craft the shield again and make sure we don't attack one of those humongous turtles Okay, the rabbit doesn't move <laughs> for some weird reason. Ugh, yeah, it is a bit bloody. Loot all. What did we get? We got some hide. And probably we can get some more in here. Feral flesh. Okay, we can probably cook that. Is there someone? I don't hear them. Okay. It's good. 
Alright, so we can go and start base building. Just simple base. Maybe here at the corner. A simple hut would suffice. Just to see how the building mechanics go. Alright, let's build something here. Now how do, do we do this? First we go with the foundation. We need 50 stone, okay. So we can only make one actually. So we'll need more, more of these guys. Man, I'm glad they turned up the rates then. Ooh, that hurts. Let me know if the volume is too much for you guys, alright? I can always turn it down. Alright. Let's see how this stuff works. Okay, here's the foundation. Yeah? Looks similar to Ark, actually. But, what's different is, use the scroll to rotate, use shift and scroll to actually change the level which is very nice that's something that was missing for quite some time in arc and good thing they caught that so if we put something like that in here at the corner maybe a simple 2x2 two two should suffice for now there we go press the 5 key it automatically constructs there we go similar building mechanics and then it snaps here and we can no longer rotate we can rotate like this but we can no longer change the level because it's snapping to that place okay i did see something though a second floor so even with foundations you can build a second floor that's interesting let's try that out So you can build something like a watchtower maybe. Something like that. Interesting. Like a pedestal there. I wonder how that works though. Not enough resources, right? Let's have a look. What am I missing? I can build a wall and some ceilings. But for sure I'll need lots of stone. Okay. that done okay that's done I'm just taking a look at my crap build one more that was quick <laughs> I'm not sure how that happened bad guys no bad guys all right so let's make a wall here and I like how they say which one is front and back I'm not sure if I like how the outer face is that kind of breaks immersion but it does look functional so if you see something like that you know it immediately that it's facing the outside which is what we want so for example we can have something like that hmm there's a hole there though Okay, we can't build a wall there we can build one here and there yeah it's a bit of hole in between <laughs> but should be fine and then we need the door frame as well and i ha have no stone again perfect okay let's just mine all these yeah, so far I haven't really seen much difference. But where the difference comes in is I think when we get all those equipments and when we try to in interact with the NPCs. Because I believe you can actually... What is that? Ironstone? Interesting. Probably something like gold. Or iron. Yeah, iron. So the NPCs ow, will definitely play a huge part in the difference in the game mechanics 
you can actually knock someone out and then bring them back to your base and then try to make them into your uh, ally or your thrall i think is the official term so you can do it like that we can build a door frame and the door door needs uh, 10 of those 10 twines and i need more fiber for that fine wow isn't that foggy What was that? <laughs> now I'm scared of everything. Right? Put that there. Build a door here. A twine 10. Okay. Maybe let's build a bow. Do I have enough hide? I do not. I do not have enough twine as well. Okay, fine. I wonder how to make the ceilings though. Was there an option? I, I think there was. Let's go and check that out later. So I can go and build a door now. There we go. Oh, you can just double click it to remove it from the, the thing. There we go. Now we have a home. More or less. Probably less. <laughs> More walls. One. Uh, more ceilings, actually. And can we demolish? Okay, we can dismantle this foundation. Oh, look at that. The far end there. Okay, and build that one in here. Let's make a simple 2x2 two two house to see how different it would be so to try a torch here and then we can have ceilings like so it's pretty cramped in here there we go wow that's dark i wonder if they have the gamma option here Not enough resources. So what do I need? I need stone and a lot of wood. Okay. Well, thankfully, I have one here. Okay. See lots of fires in there. Okay, so most likely different NPC camps, which we can try to go up against later on. After we build the home and after we build the bed. And you. Thank you. So if you close this, shelter on the upper left icon is now full. Earlier that white house icon was only halfway. I think that's because we didn't have a... What do you call it? Wow, that's dark. We didn't have a ceiling yet. Okay, let's build the bed here. We need three twine. Then we can build a bed and have this as a respawn point. And then we can go and craft some more things. Unfortunately, I did not speed up the night cycle. So we will have to stay a while with the dark here. Hmm, I should have sped that up. Torch. I do have a torch already, right? Or maybe that wasn't the full torch. Let's go and learn that then. Stairs, pillar... A candle for the home, a frame, a dagger. So I think this is how you can dual wield. You can try that out. Acolyte of Mitra. Ritual purification. Not sure how the religion works here yet. For storing items. Okay, we need that definitely. And probably... Yeah, let's see. Okay. So if you try and build a thing here, let's go with that, that, <laughs> just go, <laughs> just go and uh, get everything here, encumbrance, a 
strength and vitality maybe just randomize it up we need five coal now i'm not sure where we can get coal that's a problem so we'll have to bear with this for now improvised torch there we go all right so we can go out i have a sword and everything can go and get some fiber in the meantime i think yeah we can still pick up stuff even if you have something on hand now i'm not sure if the npc is uh, brilliant enough for this if they can actually know that you're carrying fire and they'll see you better hey rata how are we doing man thanks for joining playing a bit something different completely the opposite from elite dangerous <laughs> from super high tech to super old school it's like someone is attacking me not really so there's the big turtle there how am i liking this game um it's good it has potential it feels very similar to arc and the night actually isn't that long that's very good Ooh, X. I wonder if someone got angry so those are turtle eggs I believe and I believe we should be able to take this guy on it does feel a lot similar to arc but I think the differences come up when you have things set with like a house and start equipping stuff and interacting with NPCs Ugh, I was sorry to do that, but what can I do? I need hide. There we go. So now we should be able to make a bow, I think. We just need some twine. How many do we need? 13. There we go. Let's remove that from the hotkey and remove that. I don't need twine there. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was good. At least night time is quick. And we can try to build some more stuff. Okay, we have a repair hammer, torch, some wooden boxes. That will for sure help, but first and foremost, build a bow for sniping stuff. Wait a minute. We need 50 flint... 50 stone for one piece of arrow? Well, that doesn't sound right. Maybe that's a set of arrows. Oh, that's beautiful. What a beautiful view. It's actually pretty optimized. Considering the level of detail and number of trees here, they did a pretty good job. And I am actually getting hungry. So let's go and drink some water first. Then let's try to cook some food. How do you make a campfire? We need 50 branches. Now where do you get branches? Maybe if we use the pick on the tree here? No, that's still wood. Okay, it's not like art. We are getting some bark. Whoa. Timber. From what you've seen so far, it's just a basic survival game like all the others. Yeah, and it's like Ark. Very much like Ark. But I think it has a bit of promise in there as well. Maybe it's just not uh, as apparent in the beginning. Okay. You have a feeling once they improve the combat, that's where the difference will be. Yeah, lots of different weapons and there's the dodging mechanic, right? How do we do that even? Uh, like that. So if they are able to improve on that, that would be beautiful. Be more exciting, especially for multiplayer. Okay, that's 10 arrows for 50 stone. It's not that bad, I guess. Let's go and add a bit of accuracy in there. <laughs> I'm probably derping up my... Gimping my stats here, but... Who cares, right? Look at that. 
Light chest piece. We can go with that if we learn the armor. So let's learn it. And let's try and learn the... Okay, these things you have to learn one by one, which is strange. Let's learn the light uh, turban. Because we don't have a headgear yet. Okay. So how do we build that? Oh, I forgot. We have to build a campfire first. We have to get branches because I'm getting really, really hungry. So the branches are just lying there on the floor. Right now they've said combat is extremely basic. Yeah, it's pretty clunky. And the NPCs are actually pretty derpy looking as well if they walk from a distance. So it's not yet that polished but it is an early access game so let's give them that. Some games have been in early access for a couple of years already. So yeah, there is definitely some room for improvement in there. 50. Okay, still missing quite a bit. Let's go and walk around. Third person actually feels good in this game. Feels, I don't know, feels better so far. Because usually in Ark, I never go third person because it's just, I don't, it, it, I don't feel it. It's like I, I'm able to aim better and walk better in first person. But for some reason, third person here seems to kind of work. Hmm, where else? Do I have enough? I'd like to cook now, please. Because if you look at my bar there, it's not in a healthy place. There we go, all the branches. Craft it up. And I am lightly encumbered. Okay, let's get some encumbrance stats later on. And let's eat some insects just to stave off the hunger. And then let's plop this down. Maybe we can have a bit of... Wow, that's small. I was expecting a bigger campfire. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's have it here in the middle of the sand. Definitely give, th give them the fact that for EA it's actually much further along than almost every other survival game on EA release. Yeah, that's true. Actually good progress given how early it is in this game. Oh, how does this thing work? Okay, so we have some bit of instructions in here. They say number one, put some logs in there. Number two, put the meat in there. Number three, turn it on. Okay, so if we put some stuff in here, everything, maybe just half. Okay. And if we put some meat in there, I don't know, will, will egg work? Probably not. Let's see. How do you know if something can get cooked or not? Shield back egg. Can you boil eggs? Like make that hard boiled or something? <laughs> I have my doubts. Doesn't seem to work. Let's put some flesh in there. Feral flesh. Crafting queue. There we go. Now it's working. At least you can see what's being made. And then you can assign trolls there as well. So people who will cook stuff for you. We have putrid meat. Okay, there's spoiled meat in here. And I wasn't able to put my fiber bedroll inside the house, was I? Yeah, I wasn't. So let's plop that down. And make sure we respawn here next time. Uh, first person. There we go. Just put that in the corner like here. Wow, that looks like a sad bed. And we set our spawn point in there. Perfect. Next, we make some... Okay. From what you've seen, only savory flesh and feral flesh can be cooked. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking a while ago if we can cook human flesh. But those imps aren't actually human, aren't they? Are they? We can go and eat some eggs, maybe, in the meantime. That's actually giving us quite a lot of food. Perfect. Nice. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten everything. 
shredded roast. Perfect. That looks good. That looks yummy, actually. So if I eat this, I should have there full food now. Perfect. And then last one, and then we can turn off the campfire. What is this? Oh, okay, sorting. Uh, why are... Crafting key, okay, two, two left. Let's wait for that. In the meantime, I think... No ammo. Why not? Should I actually put this stuff like that? Aha, alright, similar. There we go, now I have something. Maybe we can start sniping some NPCs. But I also want to take a look at how the armory works. Okay, no more. Turn that off. Give me all of that. And how do we see the spoilage? Probably dura the durability. Yeah, it's decreasing bit by bit. So at least we see how fast it is from getting spoiled. That's cool. Armor's branch. Lots of stone, lots of wood, lots of hide. We are missing some hide, so let's go and hunt, hunt some turtles. Well, it's the morning at least. There we go. Wow. Well, I'm a good shot. <laughs> okay. Nada. What is this? Open. Okay, it's that one. Okay. There we go. So the creatures aren't moving so much yet. <laughs> you can see that guy. It's just there oh we meet again should we try and fight this bad guy again hmm kind of scared but i think we can run from him let's try it a bit of adventure yeah Yee. it's not as slow as i hoped Yeah! Okay, that's cool. Loot all. Nothing. For real? Okay, fine. Got some bones, some hides, and everything else. Perfect. So now I think we can get some stone and wood and build that armor or something. So once we have better armor, we should be in a better place to try and go to war with those NPCs. Maybe we can try and knock down some of them as well and see how that troll system is working. How many do I need actually? I'm not really sure. Let's see. So this one I would require 160 wood. Okay, I have 200. Okay, I'm still missing some stone and wood. And I would need a lot of attributes. XP is not in a good place currently. <laughs> I need more in encumbrance because if you look at my weight, I will probably go. Yeah. Just as I feared. Alright. So we'll have to drop this one. And we focus first on the stuff here. I can probably make a storage first. So I can at least... 14, huh? Okay. I hate that you need lots of fiber and twine. Now they did say that... Right now it's not yet implemented. But they are planning to have trolls able to get some... Items for you. So harvesting stuff like this. It's cool. Some bit of automation so it's not fully multiplayer specific. Like for guys like me who are more into the single player aspect of the game. That would be really useful. So what was I doing? I was getting some stuff for building the 
twines, I think. Yeah, let's craft everything. And we can build the chest later on. We should be able to store some stuff in here though. We have a pretty small house, but it kind of works. <laughs> it's nothing fancy. Let's go and drink some water. I think we can go and fill up the... Oh, oh we died. We lost that thing there, yeah. Let's craft one. Actually, we don't need it since we have water always accessible in here. Maybe let's make one later. So yeah, so far, pretty interesting game. Lots of similarities with uh, some games we know. But still, there is that promise that we can see. Hopefully, the developments go pretty fast in this one. Because... People will not be patient about it, that's for sure. They will want more and more stuff. Which one is facing which? That's the back, I think, right? With the hinge, so we face it this way. Overlapping with another object or terrain, and we can increase it. Alright, that's good. But that looks kind of floaty. So maybe let's place it inside. Like, just here. There in the corner. There we go. Store all of that. Perfect. And let's gather some more stuff. Yeah. Sounds are nice though. I must say, sounds are pretty impressive. Very immersive. Level up. Now, what I'm afraid of is after we build the armor's bench and everything like that, I would assume it needs more than just fiber. I would assume it needs some of those iron, iron stone stuff. And that one we sure they don't have. So let's see. How many wood do I need? How much wood? 160, alright. I need some more. What I like about this system though, this encumbrance system, is you don't really go slow. Even if you're in the red zone already. What they do as an offset is to make your stamina go less, uh, go diminish faster. Uh, let's go and increase encumbrance. I'm a builder, so let's go with that. So even if I run I'm still the same speed but if you look the sta the stamina it's uh it goes down much faster so we can go and transfer that one and hopefully that's enough maybe not okay build that there we go can learn new recipes as well now we can start learning the light chest piece probably, but let's take a look at the light turban first. Let's see the ingredients and then let's see if we can build the rest of them or if we can focus on something else instead. Hey Darkrift, yes this is a new game. This will be released tomorrow. Official release tomorrow. This is an early access game called Conan Exiles. It is pretty promising. A lot of similarities with some of the games we know, but still very good. And I think it has some unique aspects as well. Okay, so let's build that over here. Wow, okay. I think we have <laughs> too small. A house that's too small. Let's dismantle that. Let's make this a bit bigger. That should be enough. There we go. In terms of alignment, move up. There we go. 
and put that in the corner because we are not really so strapped for space. There we go. That, that kind of looks cool. I like the models on that one. You played the Age of Conan a long time ago. I've heard about that. Was it good? It was done by the same people, right? Funcom. Or was it, was that the developer? Okay. Let's have a look. Wooden torch requires just wood. Light turban requires just hide. That's perfect. Alright, so we can start learning some of those. Let's go and learn those uh, other recipes as well. Uh, the light chest piece. And, uh, oh, that's two points. Okay, I didn't know. Okay. We'll need lots of hide and lots of other stuff. We need more wood, but we have wood here, I believe. There we go. Store this stuff there. What else? Store the seeds. I'm not sure what they're for. The bones. E bark. Is there like a quick transfer? There must be a hotkey there somewhere. Or there, there will be. Okay, let's see. We can build that then. If we put some wood in here. We can build a better... Thing like that and we can build twine okay we'll need a lot more fiber i wonder if that is that crafting even if i'm not around that would look strange but if it works then it works i'm seeing a rabbit let's go and kill those rabbits Oh man, I suck at this. There we go. Someone seems to be close to me. I'm hearing some scary footsteps. It was okay, it was good for its time. I've heard a couple of uh, comments on that game. Some people are quite pessimistic how this game could turn out, basing on the previous games from Funcom. I don't have really a lot of experience with those games, but all I can say is this game in particular looks very good, looks very promising. There we go, we have a new shield. Nice. If we compare that, this has damage 27, so you can damage with a shield. That's cool. You can have... Okay, so it's basically the same, but the targe has more durability. I'll take that. And this one is stored there. So we need some hide, we need some twine. Hide I can give you. Twine I do not have currently, so let's get some fiber. Then maybe we can start trying out those NPCs. And we will always have a save point, so that's good. At least we won't need to start from scratch. You good? Okay. Is that enough? Mm, craft everything. Ooh. Where did it go? Oh, that one. So it does seem like these rabbits can actually move. Because earlier, they weren't. They, they weren't moving. Um, where is he? Gone. Okay. Also get some of these eggs, right? Free food. Bedrolls are one. Oh crap! Is that like the the sleeping bag from Ark? Okay, so we have to build a better bed here then. Hmm, that anyway didn't fit here. <laughs> Thanks, Rata. 
So how do we learn that then? And what happened to my hair? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Where's, where's the better bed then? Carpenter's bench. You mean to say you need the carpenter's bench just to build that? Let's look for bed. Bed shaper. Set that one. Level 13. Okay, we need to be level 13 to build the proper bed. We're currently level 10. I've been out in the sun too long. <laughs> Got bleached, huh? <laughs> okay, so I think we should have enough at least for some of them. Uh, not that one. Where's the twine? Or do we need... Yeah, the twine, right? Twine, there we go. So we can build one of these and one of you. Thank you. Now we can also go and unlock some recipes. Although we won't have enough. Yeah. Oh, this one. This one can work. Alright, so the light wrap needs two points, but we can have uh, good boots at least. Or good gauntlets. Let's pick the gauntlets just so we can see them. So we can see when we are arming something like that. Not like we can see it really, but... Yeah. It's the feels. <laughs> Should be okay. Okay, unfortunately it's becoming it's coming night again. So we'll have to stay for a while. Where's my torch? Did I throw it away? I put it here. Okay. Hey, there we go. And I still don't have enough ceiling, so I will have to get some stone first. Build a proper house and then we will go back and Take a look. Okay. Saw so bed somewhere in the crafting window. Yeah, I think it's level 13. If I look at it, uh, the bed is that one, level 13. So let's craft some walls, I guess. One, two, three. And then craft some ceilings. we need these to be too higher like that oh I like that how the walls snap in place so you don't have to click them one at a time that's a minor thing but very cool very cool that they thought of that okay I need my thing here Need some stone. And let me know if you're hearing some bad guys around. Okay. And it's dark. Need more plant fiber. Crap. There we go. Okay, that should be enough, I think. Now where's our house? <laughs> Good question. I think it's this one? Yeah, all right. Can I start cooking again? I do have some meat here. There we go. That should provide some light as well. Not enough light though. Okay, let's make this two stories. At least. Okay, our new armor is ready. How did I do that? 
I equipped it. Okay, that's cool. Not sure how it happened. I think I click it and I press E. And that automatically equips it. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Not bad. Doesn't look like quite an armor though. Lots of explo exposed flesh there. Okay. And probably we can build this as well. Ah, oh, we're missing hide. Okay. Alright. Maybe we should store everything else in here after we build our house. See how fast that was? That's pretty cool. Crap. Need more plant fiber. Okay. There we go. Alright, we're good with that. Now we should have enough meat in here. Okay. Can you... Alright. The stacking's still a bit clunky. And it's almost daytime. There we go. There's the moon. Perfect. Now we can go and get some more hide, and then we can go and check out the NPCs. I don't think I'll need this anymore. Let's go third person again. I wonder, can we aim with third person? Ah, it doesn't look that bad. Although first person looks a lot better. Yeah. Okay. So we do have some guys in there, right? So can we probably do a hit and run sort of thing with them? I see someone there. Doesn't work? Or did they just not feel it? Okay, that hit. See? What kind of animation is that? <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Taste okay. death. Okay. What was that? Did did she just surrender or something? Okay. So now how do we loot? This girl. Mm. Well, I can't. Well, that sucks. Anyway, let's go and take a look here. Okay, some bad guys. <laughs> they need to work on that. Crap. Is that like a. Oh, no, no. Okay, I'm not sure what that meant. There we go. Okay, that was good. Now we can go and take everything, and then. Probably not a good thing, but let's try. We can get hide. Human hide. Yeah. Question. Ah, Saifang. Yes, that's uh. So, since I am a content creator, there are some channels available to us. So, uh, we can get contact with the developers, and uh, depending on the developers and the publishers, they sometimes release their games a bit earlier, like for this game, one day earlier, so people can stream it and uh, people can think 
of buying it and seeing the game in action before they actually buy. So it's actually a good practice. So win, win, win. I can play it earlier. You guys can see it earlier. And uh, the publishers, the developers have a free advertising, so to speak. Okay, what can you do here then? Can you get some stuff from here maybe? No? No loot whatsoever? Okay, no loot. Whoa. Someone's mad. Oh, that, that guy. Okay. If we shield this guy, I think a third person would might be better. Aha! Gotcha. Am I getting the wood or the thing? There. Okay, both. Might as well get more hide. Yeah, third person is a bit clunky with the aiming. I think I prefer first person for now. Oh, look, there's one more guy there. Where did you come from? What the heck? <laughs> All right, that was a bit brutal. And I can probably get you the same way I did that guy. Did this guy just get in half? Get cut in half or something? <laughs> Insane. All right, let's go back. We got some stuff there, we gained some XP. We're still in a good shape, actually. We definitely need a lot of work in the weapons department. Because things are just breaking like mad. The shield, like, broke in three hits? What was that for, then? Ninety-nine hide, look at that. Perfect. So we can actually get some of you there. Build that one. And probably try to learn something else. Let's see. Mm, encumbrance, probably. And I don't know. Strength. There we go. So a bed still is not accessible to us. You can get some more equipment, probably. Uh, I want something like a... What was that? How do you knock guys down there are so many different weapons in here and I would assume each of them have their own purpose but I'm looking for a club maybe or uh, something that could knock out some of the guys that might be what's what we need brute maybe this one a stone mall I can take that and then some boots would probably not hurt yeah. We need some more twine. Hmm. Okay. More fiber then. Okay. Human flesh. <laughs> Rata, let's try if this works. Probably everyone tried it already. Everyone, yeah, it doesn't work. Let's just pick that then. Fine. Okay. Have a bite. Have a drink. All set. And there should be enough wine in here. I do have my gauntlets now. 
this one. Where's the twine? Make some boots. And we should be more or less set except for the pants. Yeah, looking cooler. Nice. So maybe we can go in the... Take on some of more guys there. How many arrows do I have? 19. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Insect stone. We can get rid of stone here. Can we somehow transfer that? R. Oh, what is this? Radial menu, I think. Oh, was that surrender? Maybe that was surrender what they were doing a while ago. When they were raising their arms. Was that a war cry or surrender thing? <laughs> that looked like more a war cry, but maybe it doesn't mean much. Rata, I'm on a solo server. <laughs> I tried looking earlier. There was no server with a decent ping in my area, unfortunately. There was actually something with 100 ping, but there were no players there. So it didn't make much sense. Put the hide there. Perfect. Human flesh. Don't really probably need that, huh? Ratha, do you know how to capture other NPCs? Have you watched someone else doing it already? Okay, let's go and look for more NPCs. Um, I might need to build a mole though. That one. So we need... 8 branches and 30 stone. That's easy. Should have plenty in here. We can craft that thing. There we go. And let's bring some stone with us for repairs. It has something to do with the rope unlockable. Ah, yeah, you have to bring them. You have to knock them down and then you have to bring them back. And I have to build some ceilings. I forgot about that. Uh, let's let's leave that there. It's not raining anyway. So we can... If we look at the recipes. Where's the rope? Ah, that one. Troll taker. Ah, this is the one. Truncheon. Weighted glove for knocking out foes. That's the one I was looking for. So you need to knock them out with this. Then you need to rope them and bring them back to the base. And then you have to put them here in the lesser wheel of pain to make them submit so that unlocks as of level uh, 10 oh 10 we should have access to it now okay so we need three more points and then we should have access to it i should have learned that anyway let's go and get some xps then fight some bad guys or maybe we're the bad guy i don't know <laughs> that part's not so clear yet Maybe we aim, snipe some guys first there. Brigade Zilla, I think it's uh, 29.99 USD, if I remember correctly. But it should be in Steam already. We can take this guy on now, head to head. Nothing there, though. Being on half health with the uh, and trying to fight those bad guys probably not a very good idea. Three of them, huh? And one big turtle like that. I wonder if they'll fight each other. Probably not. And what we can do... I take that guy on. 
key strap. <laughs> okay. AI is not as clunky as I expected. There we go. Yeah, you have an option, Monster NDA. PvP, PvE, or you can go solo like me. So let's try and take these guys on. Okay, that actually saw me, that guy. guy human flesh huh yucks how many bows do I have arrows I think I might need more uh, well, I'm not getting anything from there maybe here also not that might be a fixed stone or something There we go. Make some arrows. Yep, online is already there. I've seen some people play online already. It does depend on your region. Like for me, I'm from Asia. So not a lot of Asian players yet. So my ping is pretty bad if I try to join the others. Craft arrows, thank you. And then we should be all set. Drink and perfect. Sixteen arrows. There we go. Crafting is not so fast in this game. Maybe there is a stat which increases that, I'm not sure. Okay, but let's try to take these guys on. that hit? Probably not. Okay, that's a bit bad. Two of them. Can't see me. <laughs> it looks like they're having a hard time traversing through these rocks. Look at that. like that not stop okay that was a bloodbath take all and you too was that that wasn't so much XP was it yeah what do we do with human flesh though, I wonder? Can you make them... I don't know, make someone eat them? And these camps don't have any use whatsoever, I think. We get burnt? Not really. Okay. Let's deposit some items first. Go back to the base. I'm already in times 3 XP and it's still not going that fast. I'm thinking I'm, I might need to build some more stuff. Maybe building creates more here, I don't know. Maybe it has more XP than fighting. Not really sure how these things go yet. And oh, look at all those human flesh. Stone mall, I do have that already. Um, let's try it. 
Yeah, why not? Probably can get rid of that one. Oh, that looks scary. Mm-hmm. That looks BA. <laughs> Let's see. If there's someone we can test this on. That guy, maybe. I won't have a shield, though. Kind of scared. Let's go and uh, fish him out first. This is not good. <laughs> okay, that was a bit problematic. Savory flesh, huh? If I use this kit, do I get savory flesh? I do. Interesting. Okay. You don't have a code for the server. Whoa, where did that guy come from? There should be multiple servers. Ow, 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 ow. And I think some of them aren't password locked. Is he running? Yes, he is. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was close. Why do I have a jutting thing out of me? What is that? Did I just fire it myself? Yeah, it's in a top secret download, Sheng. Alpha version of North Africa for Pro Mods. <laughs> Developer only. Hmm. XP is getting kind of slow now. And I'm not sure if I like the stone mall. Probably not my style. It's a bit more scary. I do want to cook, the cook this savory flesh though. Let's see how that works. Ta-da! Let's give a few. There we go. Grilled steak. Mmm, that sounds yummy. Am I full now? Yes, I am. Man, I suck at this. There we go. Evade. Does that work? Crap. Yeah. That actually worked. If I just hit this guy with a sword... Oh, I get the flesh anyway. And bones, actually. Alright. I'm not sure which is the best tool to get those, but fine. All right, so we can get some more encumbrance, maybe. I like that. And we can learn the Thrall Taker now. Yeah, that sounds good. This can test it out. And this one, okay, we don't have enough. All right, so 
first we need a lesser wheel of pain we would need 220 wood 210 stone and oh that sucks 100 iron bars i don't have iron and i don't know where to get it i still have the arrow there jutting around hmm I only have 9 iron stone, I would need 100. Now that kind of sucks. Let's drop these human flesh. Oh, that was weighing us down, okay. Level up again? Oh, we still have one point, right. Yeah. Uh, base building. Having your own castle, empire, uh, enthralling some, making minions, more or less. I want to test that out actually, but we need the iron stone for it. Some iron stone, and I'm not sure where to get that. Do we have a better thing here? Okay, the other ones are easy. Leather, I'm not sure where to get as well. Probably from some... Do we make that? Leather. I don't think we do. Probably from some other animal. From a crocodile or something. Deposits like stone where you farm it. Just like iron rocks. Hmm. You can go and look around then. It is almost night time though. So we should not travel that far away from our squarish house. Okay, so this doesn't give us anything. If I just try to do this non-stop, will I get something? Maybe it's a random sort of deal. Nada. Okay. Need more stone, alright. Ruins like that don't give anything. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Ooh, bad guys again. Let's go and kill that one. Thank you. Too bad we can't get the weapons. That doesn't make sense. Maybe we need to go to those mountains. like a lot of people in there how do we get up those I think we have to turn around really find some other area well that looks cool are there bad guys in the water I don't see any so far People you saw farming iron earlier were near a large temple. Aha. Uh -huh. I. Okay, now I see where I am. The temple might be. there? Or here? That looks like a more like a fortress. Hmm. Interesting. Now it's night. Of fires over there. Is there someone chasing me? 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> I was hearing the battle music and it was like, who's chasing me? What the heck? Okay, that doesn't look good. Maybe that's where we get leather though. Can I? Well, that bite looks menacing. We probably need to do some bit of ranged action in this one. Can hardly see anything though. Go around. Can you guys see anything? Ow. There we go. Guy's dead. Savory flesh, huh? Leather piece. Thick hide. That's no... It's not giving us any leather. Okay. Let's eat some steak. Yummy. There's someone again. Where? Not to the open area. Come on. Tan the hides to make leather. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so we can probably ignore this guy then. Let's go home. The guy still chasing us? Probably. Crap. Hmm. Question is, how do I go home? <laughs> okay. Torch burns underwater. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't notice. Keep away from these guys. Okay, I think this is the right place. Let's try that. Let's try to tan the hide, so to speak. Out of stamina, fine. Why is this still burning? Did I forget? Yeah, I think I did. What is this loot bag? Where did that come from? Oh, okay. That's the flesh that we dropped. That's nice. So if you drop a couple of items, it got, gets all piled up into a single loot bag right th like that one. That's a nice touch. A real convenient quality of life thing there. Okay, so let's take a look. Learn recipes. We don't have enough. But if we can find something, a furnace, bench covered in tools for shaping metal, a furnace for smelting metal and stone. Okay. Hmm. Acolyte of Yog. Acolyte of Set. We have Acolyte of Mitra here. We can make a shrine and everything. We actually have that recipe already. Interesting. But the others, sandstone triangle thing. Carpenter's bench. This might be that one. Bench covered in tools for carpentry. Shaped wood, uh, wooden signpost, wall sign. Okay. Armor's bench. Iron. Iron tools. A tannery for processing hides into leather. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. 
so we need more stuff for that but we have a lot of problems anyway <laughs> like where to get the iron stone so we'll have to go around for that as well times it anyway i think it's almost time for me to go though we will have one quick look at other areas in here and see what we can find Okay, that guy didn't see me, I think. Let's go and get some stone here. So we can repair our stuff. Oh, look! Yeah, I saw this on stream. Those two statues, I think that's pretty famous. You waved at an AI for giving way for you to turn. <laughs> and uh, one sec, I think that was not approved. There we go. Not sure why Twitch decided to filter that though. That's what you call immersion, right? Let's try it across there. Let me test that torch thing out. Oh yeah, it does work. Wow, that's some kind of torch they have. Waterproof. NPCs over there. How's my stamina doing? It's doing fine. Maybe I could unload some stuff more. Yeah, these insects, I think I can just eat them all. Elves. Oh crap. Did I just... Yeah, I got food poisoned because I ate uncooked meat. Okay. Very similar mechanics, huh? Ceilings? Oh, I didn't put them. I forgot. Maybe we can get rid of the bones. There we go. At least we have 49% now. Grab some water. If they can improve the combat of this game, yeah, I think they will be golden. We have to focus on that because otherwise it wouldn't be too different and we have a crocodile again stay away from me please i've grown used to running from t-rexes <laughs> so a crocodile isn't that menacing this is just like a sarco if you've played arc What I find interesting though is they don't have stats for run speed. Wow, this is a bit hardy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Improved combat. New recipe. Rock and moss and rare gem equals taser. <laughs> Why not? Alien technology. <laughs> for them that is, that's like alien technology already. Savory flesh, thick hide, broken stone sword. There we go. Let's just reach those statues, see what they look like, and then we'll call it the stream, guys. Alright? And then tomorrow I'll be streaming again, but that time for. It's time to get back into the Commander Cap. Commander Clumsy. I was playing a lot of offline Elite Dangerous pretty much addicted to it and I'm planning to get a HOTAS already and rather I think I'll be getting the uh, first master HOTAS 4 like the HOTAS X but the upgraded one so it's pretty basic but I think it should be more than enough for my needs currently the buttons I found some way how to make more of them like how to 
uh, maximize the number of buttons in there. So I think it should work. I'm actually hoping to get one today, but some stores here in Singapore are still celebrating Chinese New Year, so they're still closed. The one I'm planning to buy at is closed today, so I might move that tomorrow. Wow, what just happened? Sandstorm? Oh crap. Oh crap, yeah, it is a sandstorm. So I wonder what that does. Do I get instantly killed or something? And where are my legs? Where are my legs there? <laughs> Forgot your pants. Okay, that looks cool. Yeah, I must admit that looks really cool. What the heck is that? Okay. If that comes for us, we're down. Find shelter. There is shelter under the water here. So I can go with that. But how long do I need to stay here? <laughs> if I go up, just a bit. So that's why there's shelter here below. I have unleashed the mummy. <laughs> the scorpion king maybe. It's done. Oh no, it's not. I don't see any bad effect on it though, except for the visuals. That, have you seen someone murdered by that sandstorm? What does that do? Exactly like that movie. Where are the others? The NPCs are dead. Oh, okay, so they got killed by the sandstorm thingy. They forgot to stay underwater. Oh, too bad. Oh crap. Is it this guy again? <laughs> Worst aim ever. I think there are no headshots yet in this game. I, I read it somewhere it's still to be implemented and I don't have any arrows left. Crap. Really? Okay. You've seen them take damage. That's probably what happened to those guys there. Everyone got killed. Okay, yeah, crocs can swim. At least that works. Can we fight this guy head to head? Oh crap. Okay, run maybe? Okay, why can I not move? Bug. Okay, now I can shield. I think I'm one bite away from dying. Enemies don't usually follow if you go through uh, deep enough in the water. I think we need to do that now. Yeah, still following though. Yep, still following. Okay, music stopped. Let's make some arrows. I cannot, crap. Okay, make some arrows please, thank you. Well, that was fun. So I guess 
I'll be staying tuned in this game. See what else they'll be able to offer. So far, it looks like they can do something about it. It seems that they are pretty active initially. I'm not sure in the long run how that will be, but hopefully that continues their involvement with the player base. Okay, it's not a hyena, a gigantic hyena. It's just standing there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Crippled? What the heck, crippled? Is that like a special move from this guy? So you can actually apparently hold the left mouse button as well to charge. But aside from that, I think right now who hits is the most. Maybe if you equip some more items you have more options. Triple is just a momentary route. Ah, okay. And there's a rhino there. I probably don't want to come across that guy too close. Crap. That hurt my ears. Yeah, it is. In the level. What is that? What the heck? Why is it not to the after me? Oh, what the heck? Rip! <laughs> A seemingly harmless ostrich is owning us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that combo? actually attack me like four or five times in quick succession <laughs> all right I think it's still following me okay it doesn't seem like it can though good ostrich is OP <laughs> it does look OP <laughs> oh my goodness okay all right but I think let's call it there guys Looks pretty cool so far. Nice to have a different change. Nice to have a change of pace from time to time. And uh, it's been a while since I played Ark. This game certainly provides a different twist. Let's see how things go from here. And if you ever see any cool updates coming out from this game, do let me know. And I'll be sure to try it out. In the meantime, go and check it out. It's available in Steam. It should be releasing tomorrow if you're feeling you're interested in this game at all. Yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Thanks for joining me, guys. What's the difference you mean between Ark and this one? Ark basically has dinosaurs and has been out longer. It's been out for two years, I think. Yeah. The game mechanics are pretty similar so far, but I think this game, Conan Exiles, will be branching out eventually once uh, the developments come once the updates come in yeah so far that's gonna be it for now thanks for watching and uh, thanks for all the interactions i learned some stuff as well and i'll see you guys tomorrow right elite dangerous time and we'll see if we go back to this game or not i'll let you guys know if ever thanks for watching and have a nice day guys bye bye thanks rata have a good one. Bye.